Hello, Pahrump. I'm Dr. Michael Ryan, your host of the Independent Doctors of Pahrump, and tonight uh, is a live show. Of course, you don't see the nice recording in there. So, uh, And uh, the call-in number will be 727-8750. Uh, but we do have a special guest tonight, um, and it's uh, Angela Reinhold of Peaceful Minds. And uh, what I'm going to uh, I asked them to come on the show tonight because uh, this is a uh, a mental health counseling service that's here in Pahrump. Not many people know about it. And one of the things that I've always said, and I've said it a lot, is that you know mental health is very important, and we all know the importance of mental health today. But it has been such a paucity, and that means a, a limited amount of mental health in Nevada. I've kind of felt like people in Nevada likes to keep people crazy because crazy people drink, smoke, and do bad things. Things, but um, that's not necessarily true. But when you do have some issues, depression, um, you know, divorce, uh, drug addiction, things of that nature, there really has been very little help out here for people. Um, and they came to me about, I don't want to say about nine months ago, telling me that they were, were starting their operation. And uh, they have, um, you know, they've gone through the, uh, they went through a lot of regulatory stuff. Uh, they went through, you know, getting their, their license, getting things done. Um, they have certified counselors. And, um, they have this, um, and, and we've referred patients to them and have had very, very good results from that. Uh, and so we've asked them to come on the show because they have this new spring event coming up. And uh, this is this little handout, but I know you can't see it on the screen. So I've asked uh, Angela uh, Reinhold of Peaceful Minds to come on and, and talk to us a little bit about that. Um, and uh, so how are things going over there? It's going great. You know, like you said, we just opened not too long ago. We're staying busy. We're here to help the community. Good, good. Yes. And uh, now you're located on, I think we have this address, 1731 South Highway 160, right? That's and uh, if we have their phone number, we're going to put that, uh, Noah's going to put that phone number up there for everybody. Yes, that's uh, 775 209 9213. Uh, and uh, you do just about every type of counseling that you can imagine. So it could be depression, it could be grief and loss for people that have suffered loss, loved ones. Uh, you do some drug counseling, um, which I know is, is a problem out here. Um, yes, that's and, correct. And uh, you do take Medicaid, right? Yes, we do. And you take do private take cash. Yes. Um, and that's about the limit of your insurance capabilities at this particular point. Um, but that's okay, because you'll we're, we're looking to branch out and right. open more, so yeah, yes. Right, so, uh, but there's a, you know, I, I think, you know, Medicaid is, is something that everybody, uh, there's more of that out there. Um, those are the people that have usually had the hardest time to find health care. Because if, if you have health insurance, usually there's always somebody out there. I mean, this is a, a for-profit system, unfortunately. It, it's, mm -hmm. it, it's not totally socialistic <laughs> yet, according to Bernie Sanders, who would like to make it that way. Uh, Health care is a right, and everybody should have it, and it should be free. But, um, but uh, I, I do think it's been a good thing. Uh, and now you have this spring. Tell us a little bit about your, your happy spring. You have a spring, uh, Peaceful Minds Spring Exchange. What is that? Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we are out here trying to help the community. So we're... Um, we have some donations already available, and if somebody would like to donate, um, our doors are open for that as well. But we are just opening our doors on May 21st to go ahead and ask the community, especially people who are in need, um, to come to our office, and we are actually giving away free household items, clothing, food. So basically, for those in the community who are in need, uh, for whatever that need might be, uh, whether you need some clothes, whether you need some food, whether you need something, um, and certainly I'm going to ask the public that if you don't need and you do have extra, that you contact Peaceful Minds for a donation to the needy. Um, but this is a charitable event that you're doing for the needy, the homeless, anybody who needs something can come by your office and pick up things that are for free. That is correct. And uh, they can take them. There's no, they don't have to sign in. They don't. There's they, no requirements. There's no requirements no. at all. This is just something that you're doing to help the community. That is correct. We yeah. did one back in November and okay. it was a great success. Uh -huh. We gave out um, turkey baskets to help people for dinner for Thanksgiving and it turned out great. So we thought, why not do it again? Good. Good. Yes. How many people did you see during that time? 
Oh, I want to say at least 150. No kidding. Yes. That's great. And there were families, um, individuals, actual homeless people that really um, got to benefit from it. So it went great. 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 Yes. And did you get any donations before that? I mean, was that something that you just, how did you get all your stuff? I mean, how did you... <laughs> well, we have a lot of um, employers, uh, employees, and they went ahead and donated. We asked the community to help. Um, the community did a great job okay. on donating as well. Okay. And so we have um, a little bit left over, and then we went through our closets again, went through our homes, we brought all the stuff back, so okay. we're ready to give. Okay, good. And do you... Um you uh, you also have an office in Vegas too, don't you? Right. Yes. Okay. And uh, so you decided to come out to Pahrump, uh to help out. And yeah, because in Vegas there's a lot more um, places for people to get help. Out here it's limited. Exactly. So we wanted to make sure that we targeted here yes. to go ahead and help the community because it's about you know individuals, it's about families and. Right. It, we fit great here. Yeah, and that's good. And have you gotten any support from like drug court or anything like that? Because I know Ray calls into the phone a lot. He's over at drug court and that type of thing. Do you have any? Have you gotten any of that type of support from drug addictions or anything like that? Um, right now, we are reaching out to go ahead and partner with more people. Okay. Um, we recently talked to DCFS, so we are partnered with them. Okay. And that's going very well. Good. Yes. Good. Good. So troubled children, right? Um, yes. That type of stuff. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, and that is a Medicaid program and that is good. Um, do you work, uh, have you, um, I guess, uh, you know, mental health is just one of those things that, uh, you know, I've talked a little bit about depression on the show um, and one of the things that, that have has been important is that um, a lot of people don't really realize uh, that they are depressed. Uh, they, you know, they may feel a little down. They may feel a little sluggish. They, you know, things of that nature. Situational depressions. I mean, you lose your job. You basically uh, suffer the loss of a loved one. Those are situations that that usually resolve themselves. Um, the find them a new job, the loss of a loved one, those types of things. They usually will last about anywhere from three to six months or until that issue is resolved. Anything that goes longer than that, um, you know, may be what we call pathologic, meaning it may be a setting into a disease state. And that disease state can be treated a lot of times with medicine. Um, and a lot of times if you're going to a counselor, if you just decide, hey, I need somebody to talk to, these are the people to do that to. Um, and if they think you're not getting any better, then they might refer you to me or back to your primary care provider for medicinal support. So uh, I... I I prefer the dual approach, both medicine and counseling, because medicine sometimes helps to correct a little bit of the uh, uh, chemical imbalance that may occur with that. Uh, but counseling helps to, to run things off your shoulder and, and, and helps you do that. So, uh, Ray, we have Ray on the phone. Ray. Yeah, Ray the Flagman here, Doc. I see you have a guest tonight. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> That's Hello. wonderful. Greetings, Angela. How are you? I'm the crazy guy with the flag and the bill of rights. You see me on the highway <laughs> every day, and I call into the show every Monday because it's an excellent show. Yep. I'm glad the doctor has you on tonight. Exactly what does Peaceful Minds do? Is it just counseling, or is it uh, uh, like for emergencies, like if suicidal tendencies? Could you explain a little bit about that? And I'll get back with you guys uh, maybe in the next segment or so, okay? Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, so um, I'm glad that you asked that because, yes, we do therapy. We have many therapy on board, uh, therapists on board with us, but we also offer BST, PSR, case management. So those are the different type of services that go over and beyond just therapy that can go ahead and help um, an individual, help families. And um, so that it's great to have all the connections um, what are, to help. What, are those, what do those initials stand for? So that, so okay, that. yeah, so... Um, so we have a basic skills trainer that will go ahead and go out to um, the family's house, pick up the individual, work with the family to make sure that, you know, step by step, because even though we may think, okay, we do this every day, some people don't know how to do certain things every day. So we teach them the basic skills to be able to function on their own. So what would that, what would be a good example of a, that's BST, basic skills training, yes. right? So someone who doesn't have basic skills training, what would that person be like? Explain to me what that would be. Someone that doesn't know how to function in society, someone who... Well, yeah, it ranges from that or, you know, they may have not been 
taught how to wake up and take a shower, clean their house. So we step, you know, it's ABC steps for, for these individuals. And it helps them survive and be able to live on their own. Okay, so someone who basically has been, I guess, kept in a closet. I mean, that would be basically someone who's yeah. been taken care of their entire life, that somebody did yes. something for them and their loved one died or their caregiver died, and then they're like, what, what do I, I do, do now? now? Yes, right, exactly. Right. And then, and then, how do you find those people? Do the Knight County turn them over to you, or do you get? I mean, is it a referral, word of mouth? Is it something like that? I mean, or is it just by luck that you? Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> no, you can never tell. Looks are deceiving. But um, the clients come in and they'll go ahead and do the assessment. They'll okay. work with the therapist, and then we'll go ahead and submit a part on their behalf to go ahead and increase their services. So they're not only coming in and getting help once a week; they're getting help five times a week. Week, okay. three times a week. Okay. Mm -hmm. So out there in the community, um, if you know somebody who's really having troubles, mm -hmm. um, you know, with socially adapting or basically um, just, you know, with with basic skills, clean, cleanliness, you know, being able to feed themselves. Now, this could be elderly as well as possibly young people. Oh, right? yeah. We have clients um, from three years old um, to about 62. Okay. Yes. So there's no age. No. Uh, there's no age difference in there. So if you know somebody out there that needs that help, I mean, that number, not that's the call-in line, but yeah, that's the Peaceful Lines number, uh, Peaceful Minds number 209-9213. And uh, we're going to go to our, our first commercial break, and when we come back, we'll still be talking with Angela about the other three uh, letters that she talked about. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Reiner, your host of The Independent Doctors of Pahrump, a TV show that airs Monday night on Channel 46. I want to remind you that I am a practicing physician in Pahrump, and I'm an independent practitioner, which means I am not bought by any insurance company or corporate medicine. We provide the highest level of care. We have nurse practitioners. We have other physicians, specialists who come to our office. Please come visit me. I'm at 1316 East Calvada here in the heart of Pahrump. Thank you.